Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is only believe and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of John chapter 3 and verse 16. For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave his one and only begotten son so that whoever believes and trusts in him as savior shall not perish but have eternal life. Today, I'd like us to take John 3.16 in small chunks. That scripture shows us that, number one, God loves the entire world, not just Christians, not just people in a particular denomination, every single person he created. He loves you listening to me. And the Bible says he loves you greatly and holds you in such high esteem. Number two, this love he has for you compelled him to offer up his only son as a sacrifice to deal with the hindrance and the barrier that sin created between you and him. So the first man disobeyed God and with that act of disobedience, sin entered into the world and infected the entire human race. That sin caused a disconnect between God and the man he so dearly loved. God could not bear to stay disconnected from man. So he sent Jesus to die so that man can be reconnected to him spiritually. Jesus died for every single person. Jesus died for you. If you were the only person living, Jesus would still have died for you. That's how desperately God loves you. Number three, this God who loves you so much says, Even though Jesus has died and risen, the spiritual route to actual reconciliation with him is for individuals to believe and trust. So you need to believe that Jesus' death and resurrection has reconciled you to God and trust in his power to save you. These are the Father's terms, believe and trust. Number four. That scripture tells us that the one who believes and trusts will not perish but have eternal life. The corollary is also true. The one who does not believe and does not trust will perish and will not have eternal life. The Bible tells us of a place called hell which was prepared for the devil and his angels. We are made to understand that those who do not believe in nor accept what Jesus did remain separated from God and in the end will have to be cast into hell. Hell is not painted as a palatable place by any standards and it is my prayer that no one listening to me today will end up there. To the believer listening in today, please just be reminded of how much God loves you. If he could give you his son, give you salvation, what can't he deliver you from? What can't he give you? To you listening to me who has been resisting surrendering your life to Jesus, please know that you are not listening to me by accident. This is God speaking to you. To you who is also unsure whether you are saved or not, you are also not listening to me by accident. God is beckoning. He's saying, I love you and I want you to secure your life with me. Accept the sacrifice of the cross today. Please be born again. Say this prayer with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word this morning. Today, Lord, I choose to surrender my life to you. I accept Jesus' finished work on the cross. I believe and confess that Jesus died to take away my sin. Thank you because by this decision, I have been transitioned from death to life. Help me to walk in the spirit as I begin this journey. Thank you, Father, for the privilege to be born again. Receive all the glory in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed or if you prayed that prayer, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's Word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.